everyone. This is the second video of the AWS Glue tutorial series. In the previous video, we had discussed about what AWS Glue is, what are its features, and uh, what are its key components, and what are the use cases for AWS Glue. As discussed in the previous video, one of the most important uh, components of Glue is the Glue data catalog. Okay. In this video, we are going to uh, understand what AWS Glue data catalog is, what are its users, and what are the features of Glue data catalog. Okay. So let's dive into it. So AWS Glue data catalog is kind of a metadata repository for all your data, uh, which is sitting across like I mean different data stores in your cloud. Okay. So the data store can be like I mean your S3, RDS, Redshift, DynamoDB, or any other like I mean uh, database server. Okay, so your data is sitting in different different data silos and you need a kind of a centralized metadata repository which defines all the like I mean the schema the location and I mean any other details of your data which is sitting in your data stores. So that is what AWS glue data catalog does for you. You can store all the information related to your data which is I mean in different data silos in a centralized data repo I mean metadata repository and use it as a reference for your ETL jobs and you know monitoring etc. Okay, so that's a high level uh, explanation of what data catalog is. Now, how does like, I mean, Glue store that uh, data, I mean, metadata and stuff like that. So we'll explore more on that. Okay. So one of the most important, like, I mean, uh, features of AWS Glue data catalog is a Glue crawler. Crawler is basically something which can uh, scroll through your data, like basically scan through your data infer the schema for you and then create a table in the glue database okay so that's what crawler does for you uh, you can also like i mean manually define your uh, without using the crawler also you can create a table in glue catalog by defining the schema location etc manually okay so uh, so crawler i mean also uses classifiers to basically infer the schema so classifier is something that you uh, specify about the schema of the file so we'll discuss more about this classifiers crawlers and uh, connections in detail okay so let's uh, look at each one of these concepts like i mean crawler data catalog classifiers connections in detail okay so firstly let's uh, understand what like i mean catalog is so data catalog is nothing but uh, database and the tables in aws glue okay so a database is basically a collection of tables and uh, you know whenever you create a table you associate that table with a particular database in glue okay so one thing to note here is that when we say database, this is not actually a physical database where we are storing the data. Okay, so the data is still sitting in your uh, external data source, which can be your S3 or Amazon RDS or Redshift or whatever. But here we are just defining the metadata of it and uh, creating the tables inside a particular database. I hope like basically all these tables which we create in Glue are external tables. I hope that distinction is clear. Okay, so with the understanding of database and tables, let's understand what a crawler is like we had defined earlier crawler is something which scans through your data store. Okay, it can scan through your S3 or you know RDS or whatever. So basically a crawler is kind of a job which scans through your data store and infers the schema and then writes that metadata into a database in AWS Glue catalog. Okay, so that's a uh, like high level explanation of crawler. We will explore each one of these concepts hands on when we uh, like, I mean, uh, dig into it. So after this uh, explanation, we'll actually try to do some hands on and understand each of these concepts. Okay, so the next thing is a classifier. Classifier is basically used to read the data in a data. So it's kind of uh, you define a format and like, I mean, if your data is in CSV format, you define like what is the delimiter for your data and what is a quote symbol and things like that. Okay, so cl classifiers are used by crawlers to infer the schema. So we'll also like touch upon this in the hands on. Okay, so the next important thing is connection. So AWS Glue connection is basically uh, something that stores your login credentials, URI strings, etc, uh, etc et for a particular data store. Suppose like, I mean, if you um, want to connect to Redshift, right? So you need to define like what is the endpoint uh, of your Redshift cluster and what is the username, password and all those things so that Glue can connect to that Redshift. So this basically uh, the need for storing these connections is that you don't need to like, I mean, uh, specify this connection parameters each each time when you use it. Okay, so you can create a connection and then reuse that connection whenever you want to connect to that data store. So uh, Glue basically supports like, I mean, uh, connections to various uh, data stores like JDBs, like I mean any database server through JDBC connection, R RDS, Aurora DB, MongoDB, Redshift, 
a kafka and like i mean uh, any database which is basically sitting inside a vpc etc okay so we'll also explore this uh, aspect in our hands-on part okay so i hope you got a brief like i mean understanding of uh, the aws glue data catalog ecosystem and like i mean i hope you are able to like i mean uh, relate and uh, understand where each one of these uh, fit into okay so now with this basic understanding of the glue data catalog let's uh, dive into hands-on and uh, create some table in glue data catalog and see how it works okay okay so i'm in my aws console and uh, if you see here this is how the glue console looks like and uh, if you see here this is the data catalog that we were talking about and if you see the data catalog has the databases and inside database are tables and then schema registries connections crawlers classifiers all those things okay so uh, we have discussed each one of these uh, concepts in theory now let's uh, see hands-on on how to like i mean use this okay um now let's try to create so let's uh, assume i have some data in uh, my s3 so i have already uploaded that data here so it's aws glue tutorials demo and i have employee data so this is the employee data that i have i'll just show you so basically this is some sample data that i have uploaded to my s3 it's a csv data okay so now uh, what let's try to do is like i mean let's try to create a table in aws glue catalog for this data which is sitting in s3 okay let's see how to do that now in aws glue console go to databases okay let me try to resign uh, sign in again okay so uh, I, I don't have any databases in my uh, glue as of now so click on add database and let's call this as sample database okay and location all these are optional so click on create database okay so inside database we'll uh, add the tables so if you open the database you can see like i mean there are no tables as of now okay now we can create a table uh, like if you see here you can click on add table you can actually specify i mean your uh, schema everything manually and you can create here okay so but here i don't want to create a table manually okay i'll create a table using glue crawler so so that we can understand how crawler works as well okay so here click on add tables using crawler okay and i'm going to call this employee or like data crawler okay and optional description is optional tax is optional okay in the next option uh, it's asking whether is your data already mapped to glue tables it is not yet so click on not yet and uh, we need to select our data source so our source is basically s3 so you can if you see here you can select i mean various other sources so for now i'm going to select s3 and network connection is not needed here and uh, the s3 is in the same account so click on browse s3 and select this and i'm going to select this folder okay so you don't you should not actually select the actual file itself you should always select the folder which is containing all those files okay click on that and click check on crawl all subfolders and click on add an s3 data source okay so now we have defined our uh, s3 data source okay so here the custom classifiers okay so this is the classifiers that we were talking about so here since the data is like simple we can actually use the built-in uh, csv classifiers so if you have any particular like i mean use cases where your uh, delimiter like is not comma or you are like i mean have some special delimiter in such cases you can actually uh, define your custom classifier by clicking on this and i mean you can use that classifier to infer the schema from your uh, table okay data so if you see that i mean it, it provides various options to define your uh, classifiers so you can if you select csv you can uh, select the serialization deserialization option delimiter so if your delimiter is a tab or something you can select that here so okay since our data is like very simple uh, and i mean it's a comma delimited data i'm going to use the built-in classifier so i'm not going to specify any custom classifiers here okay click on next here and so iam role basically the iam role which has access to this s3 bucket that you have stored your data in so because the crawler will need to read the data and uh, infer the data from that uh, file it will need to have the permissions to read the data so uh, if you don't have that iam role with appropriate permissions you can click on create an iam role here and uh, crawler s3 role i'm just going to call it crawler s3 role okay and so basically 
it will create the role for you if you have that you know permissions to it basically if you are im user has the permissions to create that role otherwise you need to create that role uh, beforehand and give the permissions to the s3 bucket uh, for that role okay now the slake formation is optional and i'm going to click on next and the target database where you want to store the table okay so it's basically sample database table prefix name prefix so if you want to give a particular prefix to your uh, uh, table which is created you can name that here otherwise the table will be created by default with the name of this folder okay if you just give like i mean test as a prefix then it will create it as test employee data okay so i'm just going to leave it empty and uh, so this is the schedule of the crawler if you want to run it like i mean on a scheduled basis or just on demand i'm going to select on demand and click on next here and then click on create crawler okay so it says that crawler already exists i think uh, yep let me just delete that existing crawler and try to recreate it but okay i deleted that crawler let me just click on Okay, it says one crawler successfully created so now let's go back to crawler and if you see it is in ready state okay so now let's click on this and click on run crawler here okay and refresh the stage so it says the crawler is running so let's wait for this crawler to uh, finish running and then we will uh, see that table created in the database okay so uh, it has completed crawling and if you see it says table change one table created so let's go to the database and see if the table is created okay so yep if you see here the table is created and uh, yeah so it has inferred the schema like this if you see employee id first name and all this. okay so uh, that is how you can use crawlers to create tables in a database now uh, if you ask me like what is the use of this table it's uh, like i mean multiple right like i mean you can use this in your glue etl jobs and also you can uh, query this data using athena and all that so i we will discuss each of that uh, concepts in upcoming videos but this was just short short demo on how to uh, create tables in uh, glue database by using crawler okay so one more thing that uh, we wanted to discuss was about the connections so if you remember like uh, we had mentioned that a glue connection is basically to store your connection uh, parameters for uh, your data stores so if you see here like i mean you can add connections here like create connection you can just if it's a redshift connection you can just name it redshift or jdbc connection whatever basic uh, whatever it is you can name it and the connection type you can select jdbc redshift or whatever and then you can uh, give your jdbc url and all those things username and password and then create connection so this connection then can uh, can then be used to basically uh, read the data from those or like connect to that sources so we'll also explore this in our upcoming uh, hands-on videos okay so i hope you got like i mean uh, overall understanding of what aws glow data catalog is and a little bit of hands-on on how to do it as well in our upcoming videos we'll try to do some uh, live uh, real project on aws glow and i mean put all these concepts into use okay and uh, i hope you found this video helpful and that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one thank you